I pulled out some serious fragrance gems this week, so stay tuned to find out what I wore. Hey, what's going on? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you love fragrances, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and also follow my Instagram page. But that's right, another week, another rotation video as usual, dropping every single Monday. So if you are familiar with this series, what I do is I tell you what fragrances I chose to wear on each day, how many sprays, the kind of weather it was, and if that got any compliments or not. So let's just get right into Sunday. All right, on Sunday, it was in the low 30s, a snowy day as well, and I pulled out a brand new Chanel I added to my collection, and that is Platinum Egg Waves. Pure sophistication, guys. This is so classy. It's a very nice aromatic fougere fragrance with some metallic qualities as well. Coming with that platinum name, that's kind of what you expect by looking at the bottle also. But man, if you love aromatics, you love classy, gentlemanly fragrances, you have to check this one out. I did do only three sprays on Sunday because I didn't really do much. It was crappy outside and kind of just stayed warm inside the house. So yeah, that's what I chose to wear on the first day of the week is Platinum Ego Waste. All right, so on Monday, also in the low 30s, I was pretty much at work the entire day and it was kind of cloudy outside. And I pulled out another new LV I just added to my collection. I've been on a Louis Vuitton haul lately. This is my third one I added in a month, guys. So you know these things are good, and that is imagination. Whoa. So at first, I had to be honest with you, I did not really fall in love with this fragrance because I didn't really give it a chance or a full wearing. However, after actually wearing this one, testing it on skin for a few days, I am absolutely in love with this one now. It's very citrusy, but what makes it unique is that cinnamon note, which adds a spicy characteristic to it, along with this black tea in the base, and wow. This just smells like money, very luxurious smelling. And I can see this one pulling a ton of compliments. The women will absolutely love this one if you're wearing it. However, it's still not my favorite from Louis Vuitton. That is still La Mensite. That's pretty much my signature scent now. However, this one is a close second or third. But on that day, I did do eight sprays of Imagination to work. Got no compliments. It wasn't really around that many people. But whoa, this stuff just is so good on skin. If you're going to test this one, do not test it on a paper, spray this one on skin and see how it develops on you because trust me, you will fall in love with it just like I did. So that's why I worked to work on Monday. Tuesday, it was in the mid thirties, also at work on that day and it was another cloudy, kind of gloomy, dark day. And I actually pulled out a fragrance, the first time wearing this actually, and it is very similar to Parfums de Marley's Layton, which I absolutely love. And honestly, this one might be even better, which is so crazy to say. And that has come from Orientica. This is Exclusive Oud Blue. Now, this is an extract de parfum. It's very, very potent. On that day, though, I did overspray a little bit. I did around 12 or so sprays from what I remember. And wow, this was honestly one of the best wearing experiences. Obviously, get that fruity apple that you find in like Leighton, along with this beautiful spicy vanilla dry down. One of the best dry downs I've experienced, like I said, in a while. That vanilla, if you love vanilla, this is a must. And especially if you like Leighton, which I do own right there, as you see. Um, trust me, this one is gonna be one you want on your radar because it outperforms Leighton. And Leighton is no slouch. It's not a weak fragrance by any means. This one just absolutely blows it out of the water when it comes to performance. Orientica, in general, is a house that just makes absolutely potent fragrances. They do have fragrances that are similar to others, but man, they just pretty much take it to a whole another level. So highly worth checking out Orientica's Exclusive Oud Blue. Wednesday, it was a little bit warmer, still in the low 40s. However, it wasn't snowing. It happened to be raining pretty heavily on that day. And I pulled out a brand new fragrance in my collection and the first time I experienced this house, and that is Kajal Ohm 2. Now, I know the original Ohm that got launched a few years back got a ton of hype. A lot of people talked about that fragrance. I never tried it, unfortunately, but Ohm 2, which launched, I believe, last year, just a few months ago. This stuff is absolutely incredible and signature worthy. On that day to work, I did do 12 sprays as well of Ohm 2. And this stuff is also pretty strong. It wasn't as strong as Oud Blue. There's nothing not to like about it. You get this fruity peach I believe I'm picking up on. It's also kind of like a creamy vibe about it. Man, 
It's very luxurious as what you would expect from a high-end niche house like the house of Kajal. And I'm very interested in other offerings from them as well, like Lamar, I think, is one. Dehab is another one, I believe it's called, that I've heard a ton about. So I might have to experience more from this house. However, Ohm 2 is definitely a winner. On that day, though, I got no compliments from any of my coworkers or anything like that. But yeah, this is a very pleasant, signature-worthy fragrance. On Thursday, also a cloudy, gloomy day in the mid-30s, and I was at work for the majority of the day now. I pulled out a leather-based fragrance that absolutely puts Tom Ford's ombre leather to shame, and that is Mind Games Gardez. Now, the leather note in here just absolutely blows my mind. Obviously, leather is not a natural note that can be used in perfumery. However, the way they blended this together just absolutely nails it and makes it come across very natural. It's kind of like a shiny new car black leather smell that isn't so piercing like ombre leather and what also makes this fragrance so unique and just mind-blowing is the dry down you get this buttery kind of orris note which is similar to iris along with this buttery popcorn note which i've never seen in any other fragrances before and it's crazy because the popcorn note absolutely comes out a lot you can detect that buttery kind of smooth popcorn note in the base and it just goes perfectly alongside that leather note. On that day though, I did do eight sprays of Gardez. Got no compliments, but whoa. I just smelled like a brand new car walking around, like a brand new leather jacket that's pretty much been cleaned and shined up. It has this shiny vibe about it. And yeah, I absolutely love Gardez and is one of my favorites from the entire house of Mind Games. On Friday, it was in the low 30s and cloudy and gloomy, kind of like it's been all week long. Unfortunately, I cannot wait for the warm weather to start coming and spring comes along, which should be very, very soon, hopefully. But on that day, I actually did do some errands. I had to go to a Land Rover dealership, get things looked at, get an oil change, etc. Then after that, I actually went shopping where I actually bought a new fragrance that you'll see in the next day. And also want to let you know, if you want to see more in-depth of my life and stuff like that, make sure to follow my Instagram because I do post a ton of stories over there. So on that day, though, I actually did pull out my signature scent, of course, and that is Louis Vuitton La Metite. I absolutely love this fragrance so, so much, and that's why I pretty much made it my signature scent. It's very versatile, can be worn all year round, all seasons, all occasions. It is sort of similar to Bulgari's Tigar, which... Gets a ton of hype, but this one has more depth, more character, and more personality with that grapefruit, that ginger note, and you have the aromatic qualities as well as it dries down. Absolutely beautiful creation, but on that day to run errands and shop, I did do eight sprays of La Mesite. Got no compliments, but I adore this stuff so much. And it's definitely my favorite from the house of Louis Vuitton that I've got my nose on. Of course, I haven't tried the Middle Eastern collection I know Ombre Nomad gets a ton of hype, probably the most popular from the house alongside La Mentite, at least for men. Yeah, that's what I wore out to shop and run errands is my signature scent La Mentite. Okay, wrapping the week off on Saturday, it was in the low 40s, cloudy day as well. And I pulled out, like I said previously, a brand new fragrance in my collection, and that is Tom Ford's Bois Marquet. Now, this fragrance just got relaunched in 2022. It was originally launched back in 2009, got discontinued a few years later, and finally brought it back. And man, this is a very underrated fragrance from Tom Ford and might be one of my new favorites, definitely in the top five. This pretty much has everything I love. It's very heavy on cedar wood, almost like a cedar wood essential oil, to be honest. Very, very dominant. But you also get this smoky incense note, which I absolutely love so much. You know I love my fragrance scents, my incense my resin, stuff like that. And this is very similar to Ebene Fume. I haven't tested them side by side, but it does sort of have that similar quality. Of course, it is in the new Woods collection along Santal Blush, Ebene Fume, and then Bois Marocaine right in the middle of the two. I think Ebene Fume is a little bit darker, a little bit more resinous, but yeah, I love this fragrance so much. On that day though, I did do three sprays. Didn't really do much on Saturday. Didn't really have to spray much or anything like that. Just kind of sprayed it for myself to enjoy. Got no compliments because I wasn't really around anybody, but whoa, I cannot wait to wear this one more because like I said, one of my new favorites from Tom Ford. So it's gonna do it for my weekly fragrance rotation. Let me know down below the fragrances you guys are enjoying and wearing throughout the week. I love kind of seeing what you guys are pulling out. And also leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe below if you haven't already. And I'll see all of you in my next fragrance video. Take care, everybody.